This battle is about to explode. Fight! Green Salutations Party people! It's the couch and we are back. Again. Back at it again. Back, back, back. Talk back, back. about shoes. Back, 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 back. It seems like it's gonna be a short one this week. It's cool. But it's cool. But anyways, yeah. we still continue with the releases because no matter how short how long? No matter how long. No matter. And whether the releases are good, bad. terrible, the good, the bad, we and the ugly, I promise to stand by you and share the info <laughs> on the releases of sneakers through sickness and in health till death do us part. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Mark behind the sneakers. Hey, I'm on the side. Let's start off easily, easy with these Puma Clydes. Ooh. Hardwood white black. So Puma is releasing another basketball shoe starting this year. Last year they had the Clyde Disruptor and now it is called a Clyde Hardwood. Uh, this one is white, black, and it has like a clear midsole. I don't know, I really like the look of Puma basketball shoes. Really? I don't know why. Even like the Disrupt, the first one? Yeah, I thought it was super clean because it's I don't know, it's very minimal. Yeah. It's basically all a uh, knit the upper over. and then the stripe. I'm totally fine with that. You could go crazy with the colors. This one is a plain white and black, but. My thing is, think. question. Okay. Have we seen anyone wear it yet? Like did Kuzma wear it or? He has to be like the first one to wear it. Yeah, cause I know, I know RJ Barrett wore the other ones. He wore a different Puma shoe. I, it, was, it wasn't this, it was something else. Oh. Like the Puma Legacy or something like that. And so I want to see who wears this. Danny Green will be wearing these. Now, to be honest, it doesn't look much different from it doesn't, the first one. It doesn't look like it has a sock. It doesn't have a sock. Like, like the, the little upper. Fitting. So you have a an actual tongue and a heel tab. To me, this looks really like low though. Yeah, so Kobe's are a low shoe. People love those shoes. Yeah, but okay, but the problem is this looks like an Air Max. So it's like top of Cephalosha ball in some Air Max 90s. But hey, we gotta see some new colors. We gotta see the Lakers. The team colors. Yeah, the team colors. The New York colorway. Who else on, who else on Puma? Is this the way that they're gonna go from now on? Is just gonna like One shoe modernize. Yeah, modernize the Puma Clyde. Like we get it. The Puma Clyde. Classic shoe. Classic basketball Clyde shoe. Clyde or whatever, whatever, whatever. But what's the next model? What is the the Puma RJ Barrett signature shoe look like. Damn. I want to see who gets the signature shoe because they haven't made any like superstar yeah, signings. It has to be RJ. So who who do who do they who do they like pull a New Balance with and just grab a superstar? I guess Puma. I mean, New Balance had a really good player in Kawhi, and then I don't think Puma really has the. That's what I mean. Like who's, who's the who's the who's the tier one superstar they get? They they can't be doing team shoes the whole way. Nah, you can't get college sponsorships like that. Like what kid is gonna be like, oh, give me some Puma whatever this is called? Hey, they're cheap shoes. Yeah, they usually go on sale. So if you wanna try it out. Yeah, but you might you could get like a hyper dunk. You get a, a Dame. You get some spiders. Yeah. Why get why get that? Why get a Puma? Non no name. Yeah, no name shoe. But I get some spider ones. Puma. I wanna see. I'm I, I'm, I like what Puma's doing. I do too. Just, they just need to the, they need to take it to the next level. Alright, so next up we have an Air Force One. Uh it's called the What Done New York City. New York. Based <laughs> off of the NBA or all the sports teams in New York. So, yes. Yeah. How many New York teams are there in professional sports? Like, you got the Red Bulls. You got the oh, FC. Red? That's the name of the soccer team. Yeah, they got two of them. Damn, you got really? the Rangers. You got the Islanders. You got the Mets. You got the Yankees. You got the Knicks. You got the Nets. You, you got the Jets, Jets. You got the Giants. Giants. I think that's all of them. What was that like eleven teams? Yo, don't they all have like a professional ball? lacrosse team? Maybe I. <laughs> That's not part of the how four majors. How come, how come they're not part of the Air Force One, huh? They're not in the four major markets. So that are all the major sports teams in New York. You have New York written on the side. You have New York written in the insole. You got a whole bunch of colors that 
I don't know, people love mismatched shoes now, which I, I'm i not really down for, in my opinion. Are you? Uh, the thing is, for me, I like, I like a good what the shoe. The problem, this is not a good what the shoe. Yo, there's only probably like two what the good shoes. This looks just like a regular Nike ID. That's true. Someone painted back in like Air 2010. All, all white Air Force One, dog. Yeah. I'm not. I'm also not messing with the clip art graffiti <laughs> writing oh, on yeah. the side. Uh, you had like a little hit of like basketball leather on the heel tab, and then you mm. have like baseball stitching on yeah. the toe. I'm like, there's little details like that, but they don't really pop. And on an Air Force One, I mean, it is a New York shoe. It is. If y'all New York people want to wear your uptown uptowns. There it is. That is dead ass a terrible shoe. Cap. That's a cap. That's no cap. <laughs> You're a cap right now for saying that's no that's cap. I don't know the proper usage of the word cap. There's no lie. Is, I'm not telling a lie. Say what? I object! Alright, so last up in our short three shoe release date, uh, release this week, we have the Air Jordan 10 Seattle's classic shoe coming from the city pack from a while ago. But now they're bringing it back now. So you have a white upper, black contrast, rubber, leather. And you have green stripes, stripes for the, the Seattle. Bottom. This is a classic for the uh, city. This is a tree out of 10. A classic for the city. This is a classic. No forest. I really like the look of this shoe. If this was 100 years ago, this would have been an instant cop. This would have been a grail, to be honest. Yeah. If this was like, what, like 10 years ago? But now, <laughs> no one's gonna. I don't know if no one's gonna care, but the people from Seattle care. Yeah, <laughs> I bring I back the Sonics. Like the <laughs> Yo, they got stolen anyway. These shoes, I really like this shoe. The so green do we. Is nice. So do we. But we are we wearing Jordan tens? Hell to the no. I'll wear it on court if it's on discount. You wear Jordan tens on the court? They should do the whole city pack. I know they did a different Chicago. Oh my god. Light blue one, right? Oh that yeah. light blue and red they one. They did a Charlotte one and they did uh <laughs> That was just an awful pack. <laughs> I don't know about yeah, all that. That was a terrible This is a good shoe. This one, they kept it true to I the think, OG cop. I think this is a cop on sale. <laughs> you wouldn't pay what is it, two two twenty? Two forty. Two forty for some Jordan tens? But this is a fire shoe, I like the shoe. You can't really go wrong with it. It's the Jordan 10 is very simple. I but anyways. <laughs> well, that wraps up our weekend releases. Nice and short. And now we head to our pick of the week. Pick of the week. Mine is... So mine is the Air Jordan 10. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was a clean shoe, uh, black, white, and green. Uh, I don't know. I really liked the shoe back then. I like. I still like it, but I probably won't buy it. But it's a nice pickup. Wear with your old uh, KD jersey. If you My pick of the week. And now here's the thing. There's some. I haven't been picking up shoes. My pick of the week, as of late, have been like nothing, right? Same. Let's stay on trend, bro. I'm not picking up anything. Damn. I'm about. You know what I'm about to go pick up? I gotta pick up this iPhone 11. <laughs> got no time for shoes. iPhone 11, uh, 128 gigabytes. Nice camera, so these shoes can hold that. <laughs> hold these nuts. We're still doing this. <laughs> it's lit! You must have a beep Travis! Travi! You had the shock drop of your sixes, I see. You had a shock breakup. Oh, <laughs> so sad for you guys, but I'm sure you'll make lots of lots of money <laughs> from the shoe that's dropping. And so will other people that are able to purchase the shoe. The details on this shoe is sick. You got the little pocket Stash. thing on the ankle you got the green you mm. got the orange you got the the clothing with it too mm. and shout out to those that won raffles because you're gonna make bank <laughs> <laughs> i seen a post that ranked like the top 
sixes ever. It's already up there? It's already like the most valuable one compared to the... It had slam dunks. Slam dunks is what I was pretty surprised about. And then Dornbreakers were under it where... Really? Yeah. Dor DBs? Yeah. The navy blue one. Yeah. Really? Those were a classic shoe, but then they It is, but they re-released it. So it really doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. And then they had the infrared sixes. Give me infrared sixes all day over all those. The party never ends! You know? <laughs> All right, I think it's time to wrap this mud up. That's it, folks. That's all the releases, nice and short. Some Travis Scott on the side, a little bit, of a little, a little sprinkle of Travis Scott on the side. But we're done. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Let us know what you are picking up. Right. Are you picking up those Travis Scotts? And if you are a size eight or a size ten and want to sell it for at least five bills. That's it. Peace. We out. Keep it cozy. Peace. I want to be on Price the Hype. <laughs>